Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to generate the configuration of Google chart and implement it in your chart with some easy steps. So here is the objective and scope of Google chart configuration generator. Google has developed a very powerful library for charts which has around 28 chart types. But to implement those charts in your application, you need to go through their all configuration and understand each and every option which is very huge in numbers. Now here is the problem, if you want to apply some options on your chart, then you need to do this manually with, with some R&D from scratch. Google has given so many configurations per chart which we cannot go through in shorter period of time. So it's quite tedious and time consuming process to test all those options on your chart. And because of time concern, developer try to find of course some ch uh, other chart libraries. But frankly speaking, if you ignore this time consuming part of implementation, then you can make your chart very customizable with so many features provided by Google. But yes, we need to think at implementation time also. So how we can achieve this in shorter period of time and with some easy steps. So to skip this time, uh, so to so to skip this time consuming and tedious process and implement any chart with some easy step purpose, I have developed one module where we can achieve this with some clicks only. With the help of my configuration generator module, we can apply any listed option and make our chart very customizable. It makes you to finalize your chart by play with available options and fine tuning only. All you need to do is just keep applying options until you finalize your chart, that's it. So friends, let's start with the demonstration. Let's start from Google chart itself. So right now we are on Google chart, the website, okay. So let's go inside any chart and see the options, okay. I'm going inside a pie chart. So can you see on the right side, it, it has option of configuration option. So here is the option which Google uh, Google has provided for pie chart. Can you see the number of options which are available for pie chart itself only. So right now, if you want to apply these uh, some of the uh, some of the properties inside your chart with their values uh, or if they're available values. So you can think that how difficult it is to fine tuning or to to set the final output of your chart you can imagine it so let's start with a one by one process okay let me copy paste the code which is available on google itself okay uh, over here oh i have already copied it over here okay here i have created one small page which has nothing only some html okay over here you can see it they have loaded the the code the, the library package over here they have given the data on which our pie chart going to render okay this is <coughs> uh, and over here we are saying that render the uh, draw the pie chart but our main concern is this all the google chart properties going to be set inside this option so you can imagine now if you want to fine tune or if you want to play with those all options how difficult it will be for you or for us as a developer to go through each and every property change their values or change their available values and then see the result how the result will be so this will be a, a repetitive process to go change the code see uh, refresh the page and see how the how the chart will look like now here is the concern and here is my module will help in 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 finalizing our our chart so let's go on to our module okay here is my google chart configuration generator module on the right top side you can see a list of all charts which are available on google chart now you just need to select a chart which for which you want to generate uh, your configuration so as we have already selected pie chart here also i'll select pie chart so once i select pie chart you can see on the left side all the available options which google has provided same like this so you can see all the options which google has provided are loaded on the left side now now these options are loaded with their default value you can see the default values also over here okay so let's go one by one with the functionality 
now i want to understand what the stroke property is or i want to know the description of the stroke properties so what i can do is i just need to click on this information icon and the information will be available for me now the same information is available on their website also okay so you can understand why this stroke property is or what the what this stroke property does okay now in this window you can see the description the type of this property is and uh, uh, this type is means the value type okay now the default value of this property is now let's suppose i want to understand what the stroke width is i just need to click on this and it will give me the proper information which is same available on this site now let's go on to color i want to know what this color property is or what this color property does so you, can you see it gives you all the information which is available on the portal okay now let's move on to the uh, on to the checkbox now what this checkbox means can you see all these options which are available for pie chart but right now i want to fine tune with my chart so instead of applying these all all properties i want to apply only some properties on my chart for the fine tuning so what i need to do is i just need to select this checkbox and say my model that only apply this particular property on my chart okay so let's start with the left property i am changing the default value and adding the customized value let's suppose zero now i am saying that among these all list of properties or among this list of all options i want to apply only this option on my chart and i want to i want to see how my chart will look like just say apply now can you see this left property has been applied on my chart and it's showing me the final output on the fly without refreshing the page same like this approach which i have already discussed with you okay without any uh, hesitation or without any extra effort you just need to click on this and the final output in front of you on the fly okay now let's go with the top i want to change the top uh, i want to see how the top will look like just just change the value just check the check the checkbox and say yes so can you see how easy it is this model makes our life very easy to finalize our uh, finalize our chart okay now let's suppose uh, now let's go on to another property okay let's go on 3d i want to see how my chart will look like after i apply this is 3d property on my chart so see this is my three uh, is 3d uh, property applied after the output now go on to the legend i want to say uh, i want to apply this legend with these all options i said position is bottom max line is 2 now i want to see if what, what this max line does so just click on it and it will it will give you all the information about this particular property okay the default value the type what the what the the default value type should be okay now i have selected i've uh, customized all the values now i am checking the check boxes and saying that apply so can you see now all these three properties has been applied on this on this particular chart so you can imagine how easy it is to apply all those properties on the chart and to see how your chart will look like after applying it you don't need to have any extra effort to go into your code change the options change the properties change the available values and then go on to your page refresh it and check how it should look like you just need to click on it and you just need to see how your uh, chart will look like okay now let's finalize uh, our final output and fix it now let's suppose i have finalized my output like my chart should look like on uh, li like same on my page so what i need to do is i want these configurations which i have customized i want to apply those customized settings on my actual code so here i'm going 
and saying export these all customized options which I have already done. So can you see all those options with customized values are available over here. You just need to copy it. That's it. Now go into your code, paste it whatever you have copied. Okay. and see your final output now here is my page default page okay let me go into it okay so here i can see whatever the finalized customized chart i have selected the same chart will look like over here can you see so now you can imagine how easy it is or how um, easily we can achieve this with this module i don't need to make any extra effort to go into the uh, go into the portal see what those properties are see what their options are how many options are available how those options will look uh, how many options uh, are available or how how those options will apply and after apply how my chart will look like i don't need to concern about that i just need to go into my model just need to select those property which i want to apply just customize those values or keep the default value as it is and say apply that's it now you are uh, now you are after you apply and finalize fine tune everything your configuration is ready for you to apply on your chart so you can imagine how easy it is to develop your chart i hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching thank you